Hi, this is Zdenka. Last few days I've spent crazy amount of time in front of the computer editing wedding photos and videos and all that. And I've said enough. I grabbed my phone and a gimbal and I had it here where I'm shooting a cinematic video sequence which you saw at the beginning of the video and I'm taking you with me. I'm gonna be showing you step by step how I'm creating the video, why I'm making the choices I'm making. Also I'll show you how I am editing the final result so you will get the whole thing. It is a beginner friendly video so you can apply those tips to any kind of smartphone, any kind of camera. You can use the gimbal, you don't have to use the gimbal. But today I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus because it has beautiful multiple lenses here and I'm gonna be using DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal. The two apps I'm gonna be using is just a regular camera app in the phone and also DJI Mimo, which came with the gimbal. I also have Filmic Pro app installed on the phone, but I'm not gonna use it today because it is a beginner friendly video and I would like everybody be able to apply those tips. If you are new here, my name is Zdenka Darola. I make photo and video tutorials, creative camera challenges and tech reviews. So if that's something you are interested in, you might consider hitting the subscribe button. Well, the location I chose, it's quite known location from all my past videos, but it's always looking different depending on what season and it always actually looks very nice in a video. So that's why I'm here. I want to capture it sort of as a story, as a woman walking by through the nature. So I'm gonna be featuring myself here and there in the video, but not too much. It's gonna be mainly about the nature, mainly about the fall. So the first shot I'm gonna be doing is just me walking towards the lake. I'm gonna be only shooting the feet, only the shoes. That's gonna be the story. So it's gonna start with a woman walking to the lake. Now I'm gonna be shooting with just regular camera app at 24 frames per second and I'm gonna be using just a standard lens because I don't want it too wide, I want it kind of close on the shoes. The second shot will be revealing this place. So I'm gonna be shooting with the same just camera app but I will change it to a very wide angle lens because I want to shoot the whole thing. Right now we have overcast, the sun is behind the clouds so it should be fairly stable, the light is pretty nice and the speed is again 24 frames per second. The second shot I kept in the same movement as the first one to kind of make it smooth, to kind of transition easily. So the first one was walking towards the lake and then the second one was also walking towards the lake but revealing the place and it just floats much nicer. Now I changed the app to the DJI Mimo because I want to take advantage of two features here. The next shot I'm gonna be doing is just panning from left to the right, so clockwise, and at the end I'm gonna do whip, uh, ending it up with green background of the leaves. Now I'm gonna be using the gimbal in a sports mode because that allows me to do a steady move like this and then quick whip at the end. Also, I will take advantage of being able to lock the exposure here. So when I tap on the screen right here and hold it for a little bit, the little lock will show. That means that the video is not gonna go suddenly bright and dark, bright and dark. It's gonna stay at the same level. The next few clips will be just detail shots of the plants on detail shots of the fall colors. So here I found these colorful leaves and I'm gonna continue the whip transition I did with the previous shot. So I'm just gonna whip on that and stay a little bit on the fall leaves. Now the settings are the same, the same app as the previous shot. As I'm shooting the next few clips, just close-ups of different plants to show the fall season, I switched the app to the regular camera app. Now I have 
a lot of close-up shots of different plants. Next shot I want to do is kind of a big shot. So of me standing there at the end of the runway. I have the gimbal here on a tripod sitting on the ground and I'm using just a regular camera app because first shot will be with a telephoto lens just of me sitting there close up. The second shot will be wide angle lens. Now my plan is transition out from this location. So what I'm gonna do, still have the camera app. Now I have standard lens though and regular speed 24 frames per second. I'm gonna still show the lake one more time, but then I'm gonna transition. So I'm gonna go down and kind of black out, kind of go dark into the ground. Let me show you. As I'm in a woods, I'm gonna continue with the transition. So I will have my phone facing down and just bring it up to reveal the place. I'm gonna use a little stem as kind of my background, the wooden background. So I'm gonna start like that and I'm gonna bring it up. I'm using the DJI Mimo app right now because I'm worried about the light changing. So I'm gonna lock the exposure and it's just regular speed, 24 frames per second. Now I switched to regular camera app because I will be shooting with a wide angle as I'm just walking through the woods. I'm gonna switch it again to standard lens and telephoto as well to give it different look. I might mix it in a post. And as I'm here in the woods, I'll do again the close-ups of different plants. And the last shot here, just... Uh one last look of me at the lake and walk away. So for that I am going to be using regular lens. So just a camera app, 24 frames per second, there is no slow motion. And uh, yeah, just sort of walk away. Now that we have all the shots, let's go to the studio, edit the whole piece. Back in the office, I'm ready to edit. Uh, the program I'm using is Adobe Premiere Pro. Normally I would have music chosen at the beginning, but this time I chose it right after. I'm using music from Epidemic Sound. It's a massive library. Uh, if you want to test it out, the link is in the video description below. <clears throat> you can try it free for the first month. I chose a music which is quite scenic, uh, has a nice rhythm. Um, it's fast, but it's not too fast and it's not too slow. I wanted to make sure it grabs the attention as I'm going to be placing the video sequence at the beginning of the video. So let's get started editing. The first thing I like to do is import all the files to Adobe Premiere Pro, look at all the footage I have and then put them in the order on a timeline. Next step, I'm just going to add the music. Um, I imported the music here and now I'm just gonna drag it on the timeline below. So as I have the music there, I'm gonna start listening to it and cutting the clips so it kind of fits in a beats. The clips has been cut into the music and the way I like to cut it, sometimes I like to cut, cut some clips to the rhythm but sometimes I like to do that also off rhythm because if it would be always on a certain beat, it would be just too repetitive and the viewers could just expect when the next cut will happen. So let's just play the raw cut. So that would be the raw cut. There are a few things which I want to point out. So as I was doing the first transition there, so pretty much you can see that the cut is happening the last 
frame is here on the green leaves and suddenly it goes into the other leaves, other color. So here we go, play just that little sequence. So that was our swip transition. The second transition, which I still like to play around with, is the transition going down on the ground and up. So it's right here. So the last clip is as it is going down and then from the stem up. And you can tell that you can actually see my feet here. So I have two choices. I might make the clip bigger. So I'm just gonna probably do 200% view or something like that and lift it up so I can cut out the, the feet. But for some reason I like it and it's just for fun. So um, I might just leave it there just for the sake of it. So when you are filming this clip, which I made a mistake, I didn't look properly because I was using such a wide lens as I was lifting up, obviously it was catching my feet. So I would have to stand much further away from the stamp and just lift the camera up. But let's just leave it, even with that mistake inside, I'm not gonna resize it. Um, let's just leave it for fun. So this is the second transition in camera transition. So going down and up. Now, as you can see here, the color of the clip is a little bit different as it is gonna be here in a few seconds. Now, the camera changed the color on its own. That's the phone camera. So I might have to color grade it a little bit later to even it out. The next step I usually do when I'm kind of happy the way it is cut is just fix the color a little bit, the brightness and all that. So I like to use, so I like to use three-way color corrector and it looks something like this. It's quite simply to use. There's nothing complicated about that. So the first clip, which looks like here right now, um, I think it's a little bit bright so I can bring it a little bit down. And I can bring it even here a little bit down. There we go. Yep, pretty happy with that. And if I want to change a little bit the color, you just drag. So this is for shadows, this is for midtones, and this is for highlights. But it looks pretty good to me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix some of the colors on the clips. All the clips are color graded now. On some of them, I just brought a little bit the highlights down and make it a little bit darker. Here and there, I had to adjust the color where it was a little bit too orangey or too blue. And as I was talking about that clip where I'm going from down up and the colors are changing drastically here, um, I tried to cut it into more places and color grade it a little bit, but obviously it is still very difficult because it was just simply so changing. So you can see there is a color switch quite a bit. Um, if I would be filming in the Filmic Pro app, which I also have on my phone, that would probably be correct, no problem, because I can manage, I can lock everything, I can control the brightness, I can control the color and all that. But because I was filming in the camera app or DJI Mimo, that's the limitations I have to deal with. Two more things I added to the timeline, and that would be transition effect, transition sound. And I found it again on the Epidemic Sound, so it's like this. Now, normally it would be a lot louder, but I'm finding that in a lot of those cinematics videos, just the sounds are a little bit too strong. So I decided to tone it down a little bit and I did it at minus 10 level. So it's not so pronounced. So when you play a bit of music, it's just very decent. It's just very small. And that's, that's the way I personally like it. And last thing I'm going to do is just add these cinematic bars. You don't really have to, it already looks great on its own, but because I would like to have that wide look, I'm going to edit there and it's just PNG file. It's a black bar at the top and at the bottom. I'll bring it on the top of it and then just drag it so it covers all the clips, so all the way to the, to the end. Once I am done, all I have to do render and uh, save the whole video sequence and done.
Well, I hope you liked today's tutorial. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to all future tutorials like these because they will be coming up. And there will be also tutorials how to take photos with your cell phone or entry-level cameras. If you have any questions or comments or simply want to say hello, you can do so in a comment section below. I always read it all and I'll try to respond. And I will see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao, ahoy! Some selecloth baba jaba. Oh my gosh, this is <laughs> frogs get the hell out of me. So, <laughs> oh my god. And the last, so and the last shed, and the last shed is here. So. It's